some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Michigan, where a soft tart, uh, well, apparently has absolutely no idea how debt works and thinks that uh, his debt has been sold means that he doesn't have to pay it anymore. Uh, well, he was wrong about that. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay. Eric Williamson. The authorized representative for Eric Williamson is here. Say again, sir. The authorized representative for Eric Williamson is present. Are, are you Eric Williamson? I'm the authorized representative for him. Okay, so are you an attorney? No. Well then, uh, the real Eric Williamson better uh, show himself because he's got a uh, a poser who thinks he's a lawyer uh, trying to represent him, and you know that's illegal. Okay, so uh, the authorized representative who's speaking on behalf of Eric Williamson, what is your name for the record? I'm the trustee for the revocable living trust of Eric Williamson. So you are Eric Williamson and you are the trustee as well as the beneficiary of the trust? Correct. <laughs> and that, Softards, is exactly why you've got to be an active listener because he listed all three of the personalities all at once and ended up catching the Softard off guard. So I would wager that this... Uh, Savtard's brain has been completely rotted away by the copious amounts of lighter fluid that he's consumed over the years. Thus creating a situation where his brain is incapable of uh, catching such word games while in action. So, Mr. Williamson, I just want to know what to call you because I'm not going to say beneficiary of the trust for Eric Williamson every single time I need to address you just for ease of talking to people. So, Mr. Williamson, um, I have you here. Um, for LBNB Funding LLC in case 24020487, um, who do we have? Good morning, Your Honor, Cezanne Barda. Mr. Barda, good morning. I'm going to... If you have to, Your Honor, I will. All righty. I'm going to put the two of you into a breakout room where perhaps you can um, discuss this uh, matter set for a bench trial today. I think, I, think I, might have to set, I, think, I think I might have to set this for an in-person just so I know who I'm dealing with um, for identification purposes. But It's um, also it's also set for a plaintiff's motion for summary disposition, Your Honor. That, that is also correct. Um, so that's why I'm going to put the two of you in the breakout room four, see if there's any resolution. Uh, so, let's see. Many, many minutes later. This is case 2402-0487-GC, LBNB Funding LLC versus Eric Williamson. Appearances, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Cezanne Barda, P65425 on behalf of the plaintiff. All righty. And Mr. Williams, uh, your name for the record? Eric Williamson. All righty. And uh, this is uh, the motion for summary, plaintiff's motion for summary disposition. Uh, Mr. Williamson, did you or your representative of the trustee of the trust file a, a, an answer to the motion for summary disposition? No, I haven't. All righty. And um, then I'll allow you to make uh, whatever arguments uh, orally on the record. Uh, counsel, this is your motion. Go ahead. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Plaintiff's motion is based on MCR 2.1 on 6C9, C10. There's no genuine issue material fact to move forward at this time. Attached to our motion, we have the chain of title documents, the bill of sale that shows that LVMV is the rightful owner. We have statements that were mailed to Mr. Williamson, uh, payments made which comport with the account stated theory. 
We also have an affidavit from our client showing the damages and what is owed. Uh, Mr. Williamson not only did not file a written response to our motion for summary disposition, but failed to file a counter affidavit, which is a must under the Michigan court rule. Uh, so at this time, plaintiff respectfully requests that our motion be granted. I'd also like to point out that in defendant's answer, he accuses the attorneys in my office to be guilty of securities fraud and perjury. And he also states that the 23rd District Court is an improper administration with not suitable court, according to Congress and the United States Republic. So basically, standard soft, hard, fair of accusing the other party of the one that's committing the crimes, trying to deflect attention away from the fact that they're the ones that are committing the crimes and uh, and have the legal right to do so, considering that they think that all the laws in the country are illegitimate which we all know is a bunch of BS. But there's going to be a few more surprises in this particular video when it comes to this uh, Sovtard's interpretation of debt. So let's carry on, shall we? Uh, so at this time, plaintiff would ask for the motion to be granted. And Mr. Williamson, your response? Judge, this is the improper venue for, for this matter. Uh, all lawsuits are supposed to be sued or dealt with in a district court. This is the 23rd District Court of the state of Michigan, so yeah. Original jurisdiction. I have original jurisdiction over this matter. Pursuant to all the Supreme Court cases regarding the long arm statute of the state of Michigan, you are you reside at, uh, in Pickwick and Taylor, is that correct? Correct. Right. And under the Michigan Constitution, um, this court has jurisdiction over all cases under the $25,000 uh, with regard to those that are filed for civil reasons, not criminal reasons. And this is not a criminal case. It is a civil case uh, for breach of contract. And all breach of contract cases, uh, you have, the jurisdiction then would fall to this court. Objection. Under, 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 under federal and Michigan law, so. Objection, Your Honor. I don't. I don't have a contract with um, LVMB or with his attorneys. Uh, for the record, they need to present um, the, the the promissory note or dismiss this case. Okay. Okay. So basically, what you're saying here is that uh, they have to present an IOU that you. Uh, presented to them saying that you owe them money blah 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 in order for this content to continue on even though you were the one that failed to pay the debt off i mean come on dude this isn't how it works i mean they own your debt you got to pay the debt so let's carry on i don't have a wet sig a wet ink signature with any of those people who's bringing me to court right but they have um they are the true owners of the debt that you incurred with uh, credit one, they they're not a party to the matter. They purchased. They purchased the. They purchased the debt. Okay, if they so, purchase this, it's their debt. That's a. That's a charged off debt. Dude, do you even know what charged off debt means? It basically means your original creditor gave up trying to make you pay back the loan that they gave you or credit or whatever, and has sent it off to a debt collection agency. That's not the case here. The, in this particular occasion, the original credit card company or a creditor has uh, sold your debt off to somebody else. So that new company now owns your debt and they collect the interest and principal and everything like that, dude. That doesn't mean that you don't pay. It still means you do pay. So you really have no idea what you're talking about here, dude. I mean, try to at least study what these things actually mean, other than what these Sovtard gurus force feed you. All right, so uh, is there anything else you want to add, sir? No, I'll, I'll be in court. Okay. Um, so I do find that there is a... Uh, Reason to grant plaintiff's motion for summary disposition.
So none of your soft tart arguments worked in this case. This is still going to trial. Now they're just going to set it up and you're going to go in pro se and you're going to completely fall flat on your ugly face. For the reasons stated uh, in their brief and support and on the record. Court costs. Council send that in via the portal. Uh, yes, Your Honor. The, Your Honor, there is an order for summary judgment on the last page of that of of the packet that you're holding. So now, with regard to the damages, damages are one thousand four hundred four dollars and fifteen cents, and court costs are a hundred and seventeen dollars which consists of a $55 filing fee, a $42 service fee, and a $20 for the motion for summary fees. I find that the uh, damages stated do comport with what was prayed for in the complaint and also matches what was uh, attached as the underlying debt from Credit One Bank. I'm going to effectuate that and both parties will receive their true copy of the mail. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a great weekend. You do the same. Both parties have a good weekend. Well, that's the end of the video, folks. Uh, apparently, this Savtar didn't do his homework and ended up getting owned by the judge. Well, that's easy enough to do when your opponent is a complete giblet head and fails to do the most basic of research without listening to Savtar gurus and who's spoon-feeding him misinformation to begin with. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen read to anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, I'm just like Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the third amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera, doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead. Uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan, St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island the speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, That's a 25. 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hello, ma'am. Hi. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave. Okay. Yeah, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you are not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys. You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.